wonderful to see you. Uh, greetings to you from here in Berlin, and welcome to the Q Berlin conference. I'll start with a question that's a, a general question because we had two mayors of Berlin and Paris here on the stage with us this morning who were talking about how these global crises affect cities. So what is your perspective on this? How have these crises affected your city? Yes, uh, hello everybody. Uh, I'm very glad to be with you today. Uh, thank you for having me. And uh, honorable mayors, uh, uh, dear participants of the conference, uh, uh, if you let me to comment shortly the first part of the conference, uh, uh, I want to say uh, women have to rule the world, not only <laughs> cities uh, and not only Europe. Uh, but um, uh, if you talk about the crisis, uh, so maybe a little bit about the history, uh, history of uh, humankind, the civilization, actually this is a history of wars and uh, uh, epidemics. So, and every time we, uh, we think uh, that uh, this is the uh, last uh, crisis uh, and uh, uh, actually the last crisis uh, what we will have, uh, uh, this is the end of the world. And uh, uh, by today, uh, I, I, I'm feeling that uh, we have uh, like two ways uh, to the end of the world, uh, faster and slower. Faster is a war, global war, and slower is a uh, global ecological crisis. So, and if uh, uh, mean, it means uh, for us uh, that uh, today uh, uh, we cannot deal only with actual crisis, uh, what we have, we still uh, have to think uh, uh, about the long term, uh, about the uh, perspective, uh, and uh, it means that we have still to think about the uh, green transition, and not only to think, but uh, uh, to deal uh, with that. So I think for uh, Estonia uh, and for, for our city, for Tallinn, uh, we have, of course, uh, the same challenges, uh, the same crisis, uh, uh, epidemic, uh, uh, pandemia, COVID crisis, COVID uh, uh, crisis, uh, refugee crisis, energy crisis, uh, but uh, only, uh, but also, uh, we have uh, to think uh, about the fortune of the cities of Ukraine. So our uh, neighbor is aggressor. That means that uh, we have also new challenge, uh, new uh, uh, understanding. We have to be uh, ready uh, for the aggression. At, uh, uh, and, and it means that also the cities uh, have to be uh, uh, have to be ready to protect the people, uh, to be ready for the evacuation, uh, to be ready for the uh, new uh, uh, situations. And uh, during the uh, last uh, two, even three years, uh, uh, we uh, received very clear understanding that actually our readiness uh, for crisis uh, uh, not depend on the uh, meaning of crisis. So uh, it depends uh, of the structure of the, uh, of the governing, it depends on the system, uh, and, and it depends on the resources. So now uh, uh, I believe that uh, leaders of the cities, uh, of course, the leaders of the states, uh, I must understand that uh, uh, we have new time, new of crisis, and uh, crisis will come uh, again, uh, all together and of one uh, uh, after the one. Mm. So uh, it means uh, we have to create a new system of governing, new system of governing uh, uh, in the cities, uh, uh, new system of governing uh, uh, in the societies. You're right, Mayor Colbert, that this certainly won't be the last crises that cities in Europe are facing. What answers can Europe provide to these conflicts? What convincing answers uh, can Europe uh, put forth? Um, I'm afraid that uh, we have uh, to talk uh, about one more uh, 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 crisis. Uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, value crisis. Uh, and uh, maybe we have to start uh, uh, to deal with this crisis and uh, this gives us a possibility uh, uh, to survive uh, uh, in the future. Uh, because uh, 
um, I see that uh, uh, from the, f the first crisis, uh, what we discussed today, from the COVID crisis, uh, uh, we have a situation when uh, f in the beginning uh, uh, we saw a very high uh, level of consolidation. We support each other, uh, we were together. And then uh, we were tired from the crisis and uh, we started uh, uh, to looking for the enemies inside our societies. And uh, uh, we were not, we were not uh, uh, united uh, in face of uh, uh, this crisis. And this uh, uh, emotional uh, crisis, values crisis, uh, uh, I think uh, psychological crisis uh, were even more uh, uh, deeper than medical crisis. And we have to understand uh, that uh, this is uh, the meaning of all crises. Uh, and uh, uh, and it, it is uh, very dangerous for, for us. Uh, we have to be ready uh, for, for it. Today, uh, also, uh, during the crisis, uh, 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 it's very dangerous uh, when uh, leaders uh, start to think uh, that uh, only uh, leaders uh, have right opinion and uh, all other opinion uh, uh, during the crisis uh, uh, are not acceptable. Uh, this is uh, very dangerous for democracy when during the crisis uh, uh, we start to think that only one opinion is the right opinion and uh, all, all other opinions uh, are the opinions uh, uh, of the enemies. Uh, so uh, I believe uh, uh, that uh, our aim and our responsibility uh, to create uh, more ties uh, in, inside the so society and uh, uh, to not forget uh, do not forget uh, uh, the meaning uh, of the uh, democracy and the meaning uh, of the real values. Mm. Uh, the real values uh, are the base uh, and support for us uh, only during the crisis. A crisis of values in Europe, that's something that uh, Tawakal Karman also addressed in her uh, keynote remarks earlier. I'd ask, uh, Mayor, if you could tell us how you reconcile the need to address these immediate challenges, so these crises that you've mentioned, with also the need to have a long-term vision for your city. How do you put those two together? Nothing to do. Uh, of course, uh, uh, we have to deal with the actual situation. And for us, the uh, actual situation is uh, like uh, for all European cities and uh, states. Uh, uh, it, it is, of course, uh, uh, energy crisis and uh, and also refugee crisis. Uh, 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 but um, in, in the same time, when uh, today uh, we started uh, again uh, to use uh, uh, fossil fuel, uh, for example, so uh, we have uh, uh, again to, to use this uh, uh, old uh, uh, view of uh, uh, old understanding uh, uh, about uh, the using of energy. Uh, but uh, we hope uh, that uh, it's not uh, for the long term and it means that uh, in the same time we have to prepare uh, new uh, ways uh, uh, to receive uh, energy and uh, it's uh, uh, very important uh, for us because uh, uh, Tallinn is uh, a European green capital for, for the next year and uh, it's not for, for only for the next year uh, we have to prepare uh, our technologies uh, uh, for the uh, long period, uh, and uh, uh, we deal with that. Uh, so our solution is uh, uh, wastewater energy. This is uh, seawater uh, energy, and uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, solar energy. And Mayor, if you could tell us just very briefly, as we're running short on time, uh, what would you say is the biggest opportunity that you've learned from these crises? An opportunity for your city to progress. Uh, to change the mindset, uh, uh, to create a new governing, uh, governing structure. So actually, uh, we started uh, uh, to change the uh, uh, system of governing uh, in, in Tallinn uh, uh, three years ago. Uh, but now uh, uh, we have a um, uh, very clear understanding uh, uh, that uh, old uh, uh, fashion uh, uh, system uh, uh, seal of thumbs uh, uh, governing uh, it, 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 uh, it, it, it's not actual uh, anymore. Uh, 
Uh, we, we have uh, to create uh, a new governing system. And change the mindset. I think that's a great note to close on. Thank you so much, Mayor Mikhail Kovert of Tallinn. Thank you for joining us at Q Berlin. Wonderful Thank to you. have you.